All right, so I got something here to think about. In Deuteronomy 4, it says, Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall ye diminish aught from it, that ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you. So I want to focus on this. Ye shall not add unto the word, neither shall ye diminish aught from it. And then in Proverbs 30, Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Add thou not unto his words, lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. All right, so let's go. I want to take a look here at Matthew 17 with those two verses in mind. All right. And so if we go down here to verse 21, I'll just sort of highlight verse 21. And then I want to read for you. Verse 20 to give you some context. Uh, starting verse 20, and Jesus said unto them, Because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, Remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. Howbeit, this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. So that Verse 21 is kind of a big deal. How be it this kind goeth not out, but by prayer and fasting. It gives some context and understanding to what we need to know when he's talking about this moving the mountains and nothing shall be impossible unto you. It's a big, big deal. So let's take a look at the ESV. Okay, so the ESV in verse 21, let's see, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 22, 20, 22. There is no 21. But why is that? Why they use a different numbering system than we do? No, 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 that can't be. So what, what's going on here? So we've got 21. How be it this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. And they've completely removed it. So let's see what this little snake note or footnote, whatever you call that thing, says here. E, Matthew 17, 20. Some manuscripts insert verse 21. Some manuscripts verse insert or add verse 21 so uh, I'm not sure exactly what that means uh, so some manuscripts okay so first of all um, why even have a 20 and then skip 20 if you're in kindergarten and you can count to 22 you know 21 comes after 20 so why you removed it and then you're claiming other people are adding it. Think about that. Now, also think about this. Okay. If um, you're going to say some manuscripts insert it, that would suggest some manuscripts don't insert it. Uh, and then wouldn't this be an admission that your Bible translation is not the pure word of God. So you're basing it on a variety of manuscripts and not one gold standard Bible in any language, but rather a variety of manuscripts. And therefore you're picking and choosing what you're going to put in your Bible translation. So what that says is your Bible translation is not the perfect pure word of God, and neither are you basing it, your translation, off the perfect pure word of God. You're essentially saying you're making it up as you go. All right? Think about it. Every word of God is pure, and i got to share this with you before I close this out. Man, bread, word. Deuteronomy 8, 
man does not live by bread only, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord does man live. And Jesus answered, said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. And Jesus answered him, saying, it is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. So it's pretty important that we have every word of God. Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Think about it.